Howdy folks, Darren Ray Fonso here talking about workers' compensation or labor and in industries as we call it here in the state of Washington. Uh, today's topic is going to be uh, how the progressive left, the journalists on the progressive left, are failing us intently at this point because they refuse to stand up and address and fight a war on injured workers and they refuse to call for the minimum federal standards nor report on the minimum federal standards, which is the Sanders solution and the U.S. Department of Labor and OSHA's solution for the war being waged upon injured workers. Today, I'm calling out this gentleman named uh, Steve Grumbine. He is from the uh, Real Progressives uh, journalist news outlet here in the United States that he has going, and they're, they're sharing our voice around the world. Well, Steve Grumbine, I have begged for help for for injured workers and to put the Sanders solution on the table for us for oh, close to three years now. And it's not just Steve, it's also his counterpart named Joy Savage. Uh, why it's so disgusting to me at this point that it, it, it's not just them that's failing. It's Tom Hartman is clueless about a war on injured workers. I've shown you that and has no doesn't even want to discuss it. Um, and then we also have uh, the Our Revolution Movement and the Uphill Media out of Portland and Seattle, a guy named John and another guy named Brian Cheeseman here in Seattle, and a guy named John out of, out of Portland runs the Uphill Progressive Media. And they, I, I begged them to ask the question, finally got them to. When they do ask the candidates and press them on this issue and the question, the candidates do tell us the truth, and when they don't, we are allowed, able to educate them on the issue. Yet, these folks have took it upon themselves to feel this is not a need or an issue that our country has to have addressed at this point because we have a lot of other bigger issues like Medicare for All and all these other different solutions that they have other than the Sanders solution for injured workers of America, which is the minimum federal standards. That's why it's, it's really uh, frustrating when you can't get any of these people, Jill Stein, the Green Party, or any of them to do anything for the injured workers of America. Uh, but well, I'm trying to focus mainly, mainly on here this real progressive journalist outlet, this uh, Steve Grumbine. I have begged for help for for three years. I have shared the information about the harm to injured workers, how it's, it, it's, it's, it's destroying our lives, how it's adding to homelessness, how it's adding to inequality, but Steve does not want to report on the issue nor call for the minimum federal standards. And that's why it's frustrating for me that now he goes and he interviews one of my candidates, uh, David Strider, who I've educated here in the state of Washington. His name is David Strider. He's running for U.S. Congress. Give him a, give him a, give him an ear. Uh, uh, give him a minute. Uh, he has a lot to say, and he's say he's an injured worker who's also standing up and fighting for us, and says this issue needs to be on the table. Whether he agrees with the solutions, I'm not sure. I think he is coming around to see that we need these minimum federal standards. But the bottom line is David Strider did take the time to put this issue in his voter pamphlet for, for others to see uh, and it, with his picture alongside of it. And, and this was one of the issues he wanted to, that he was going to address as a candidate. So when Steve uh, Grumbine brings him on Real Progressives to interview this candidate and so he could share with America what this candidate is all about, uh, he doesn't bring up what that candidate's main issue, one of main, the main, main issues that candidate had on his voters' pamper. Especially, so it shows very clearly that Stephen Grumbine has no intent to bring the issue and the harm of injured workers that is going on uh, or bring about and, and, and report on the solutions that even Senator Sanders, who he, he seems to say he loves, uh, says we need to, to have done. Now, I'm sorry when this progressive voice and our, our, our liberal progressive journalists can't come out and tell us about something, a war being waged on maybe basically one in four of us because it's not just work comp, it's SSDI and some of our private care where we have people lying to deny to harm us. And we need some issues to police those people and it's not being done. It's a class war with one man harming another one with their pens. And so I'm really perplexed at this point as to why real progressives cannot pick up the fight for injured workers and, and, and rally around those calling out and crying out for minimum federal standards. And why does it take the socialist, uh, world socialist, to tell us about a war on Amazon workers? And the Amazon workers, when you talk to them, they will tell you it's not just at Amazon, folks. It's happening to folks everywhere. And I'm telling you, too, because I had it happen at the University of Washington Medical Center. If it can happen there, it can happen to you anywhere. What we have is a war on the injured workers, and, and if we have this jur journalistic progressive left not telling us as that war is being waged upon us, 
about it about it and the needed solutions then there is something wrong with that picture I don't care about what everything else is going on if you can't be honest about a war on injured workers and you're gonna just talk about all these other programs while you leave injured workers behind I'm sorry I don't care what party you're from which Christ, uh, which religion you're from where I come from the injured we don't leave them behind we pick them up and we carry them and as we go forward we don't leave people behind and when the victims of such human rights violations cry out for your help Steve Grumbine I'm sorry I can't be broken in two enough for you or have my arm cut off like some of the others but yet we are learning that some of them are having a psychological warfare on us that the harm done to us psychologically is almost equivalent or even worse to the half you fucking patients because you know what Steve Grumbine there is nothing worse than an amputated fucking spirit and that is what we got going on here in this country and if we cannot get Steve Grumbine and real progressives to get on board with some minimum federal standards that Senator Sanders told we told us injured workers of America that we need then I'm calling this a false front here Steve Grumbine because you have no empathy for your fellow human being who's having a war waged upon them and work comp and being put on the work comp death trains that even your own Bernie Kratz endorsed Scott Stefani called a genocide There's something wrong when you cannot stand up and fight for your fellow human beings having a war, class war, waged upon them at will on sniffs and grins. And I'm sorry you can't get past your ignorance and your arrogance, stream Steve Grumbine and all you other people helping to run this show here and run this journalistic left. You're failing us. We can't blame the Trumpsters and you can't blame the, the Bernie Sanders even or the Patty Murray's or the Rick Larson's when these people at the bottom like the Jill Steins and my Green Party and my our revolution people and Tyler Vega and that's another thing I'm getting to here you had interviewed David Strider and then you also had Joy Savage who interviewed Tyler Vega all of whom I'm calling out as to why are they not standing up and, and demanding the minimum federal standards that they for the for whom the the Bernie Sanders flag they all fly behind their heads said we need what we have is a co-opting here of our progressive left movement that has been co-opted by biz-minded individuals that have no intent to stand up and represent injured workers laborers patients rights and our grand bargain, Steve Gumble, that has been taken away, that you're trying to tell me, look at all some other alternatives. Don't look at what's been taken away, Darren. No, Steve-O. You've been not 15 years on the end of the shovel like I was. Another 15 years up lifting up your asses up and down in beds. I'm sorry. I earned my bad back. And I'm sorry it's not broken enough for some, but it was broken enough and I had to fight for it. And it isn't just that back that with it has a 10 pound limit that seems to be the issue anymore. It was them trying to deny the fact that it was a 10 pound issue, trying to send me into a 50 pound fucking job, you motherfucking whore. You have no clue. And until you walked a mile in another man's shoe, Steve Grumbine, you have no clue what the injured workers are living through in America today. And why does it take the socialists to speak up for us out of? I don't know where they're from. It's the world socialist, but it sure isn't Kashma Sawant socialist and her uh, merry little band here in the Northwest, who even Steve Hoffman, who is a Bernie Kratz endorsed candidate as well uh, for, a, for a, posi a political position, and a union member, one of my own members, WFFE, cannot come out and tell us about a war being waged upon us. I'm telling you, we got this whole progressive left that is failing to stand up and speak up for real laborers, real progressives, and the patients' rights in America, and that is disgusting at this point. When you, when I want what you want, all the other goodies, because I'm, anyways, we won't go to what I am. All I know is you people are claiming to be something that you're not when you leave the injured workers behind. You're not noble. You're not great. You're not helping us all when you say, oh, well, we got to harm a few to, to help the, the many. No, we don't harm a few. We don't leave no one behind. We help us all. Have a good day. And Steve Grumble, you need a gut check. And you need to turn around and get honest with all the injured workers across America and Canada at this point, brother. Because when you try and sell me this other solution, and I have Canada's injured workers who already have that solution you're trying to sell me now, 
and they're still crying out for help, and I'm sorry, sir, you're selling me a bag of bad dope, and I want you to make good <laughs> on that bag of dope because that is not cool, brother. And you like to lead my progressive voice, so all of the stuff I ide ideologically, I am aligned with you on a lot of it. But when you turn and snub your nose at a man who has labored all his life, who's come forward telling you, I have proof of harm. I had a father-in-law, I told you, Steve Grumble, that was worked to death at Walmart after he was injured on his job, and they tried to cheat him out of even paying him for the part that they had to amputate. No, Steve Grumble, you don't ignore the victims when they come forward. You don't ignore patients crying out for help. You don't ignore us when we come to you in pain and hand you a solution that Senator Sanders and a progressive think tank has already told us what we need out of Washington, D.C. It's called CAP, or Progressive Center for Progressive Ideals or whatever it is. It's a progressive think tank, Steve, of some really smart progressive folks who got together and they told us we needed these minimum federal standards, brother. You're failing us, and you need to wake up and help laborers, brother. You don't leave the labor stand because we're going to have a bunch of robots. I'm sorry. The robots, and like you've even said, are still going to need us humans to run them. And sometimes those robots, brother, run our asses over, and we're going to need our comp. And just Medicare for all, I can solve the issue, and I have videos on that you can go educate yourself on, Steve Grumbine. Because just Medicare for all doesn't stop the disparity between one man getting $35,000 for an amputated part in one state and 750 in the other state. Medicare for all will, of course, get them both treated, and mo most states, most of them already will get treated if they if they have an amputated arm. That will be treated. What the problem is is that what, how much, and who will compensate them? Steve Grumble. No, I'm sorry when you have your arrogant attitude and you think you're smarter and so much brighter than this person with the ninth grade education or eleventh grade education and a goddamn GED who's been wiping butts for the last fifteen years, but before that was shoveling ditches. When I come forth forward to you as a victim and now i have even shared with you uh some uh, judges from ssdi and work comp help they have ruled in my favor steve grumbine and yet you still slap the fucking door on my face because you have no intent sir you have also come by our broken workers comp uh, site page that i that i have put up for other people to come and, and learn from one another and educate our lawmakers and our progressive left it seems to be so arrogant they do not want to stand up and fight for the minimum federal standards. Even their own, basically, guru, Senator Sanders, told us we all freaking need. There is something wrong with your intelligence at this point. And it ain't just your intelligence at this point because you're letting your biz-minded uh, protect my state comp rates at all costs rather than st stand up and speak up for the humans who you all claim to be rep representing, Steve Grumbine. Are you representing the human Steve Grumbine when you invite a, 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 a man named David Strider onto your show and he has in his voters pamphlet that he wants the issue of injured workers addressed and you do not address that issue? No, Steve Grumbine. Your part of uh, seems like to be a political progressive movement on the left that has no intent. Let me repeat that. No intent to stand up and speak for the grand bargain for which our forefathers fought and died for. Progressives, Steve. You hear that, Steve? Progressives. You hear that, David Cobb, Jill Stein's uh, 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 campaign manager? <sighs> David Cobb and Jill Stein can't even speak up. So want can't even speak up, Steve-O. What is wrong with those progressives? Are those progressives really progressives when they ignore a war and the erosion of the grand bargain for which us progressives fought and died for 100 years ago, Steve-O? I think you need to stop and, and get a gut check and start thinking, Steve, because you – and you have taken on responsibility and watch your mug out there and somehow you're going to profit off this one way or another through the, before this is done, my friend. And so therefore, when you do that and you – just spit in the face of injured workers because they're not broken enough for your little sniffer. Maybe you can't sniff out mental health harm, Steve-O, with your little and, and arrogant intelligence sniffer that you seem to have. Your whole progressive left can suck on it because I'm not going to take it. I'm a real liberal. I'm a bleeding heart socialist motherfucker, and I will stand up and fight for the workers, not surround it, sit around and sneer and laugh. At those who stand up and, and the victims and the 
work comp whistleblowers to tell you the shit is going on, Steve-O. Laugh it up, bitch. You and your union brothers and sisters, as when I talked to, I forgot there was somebody from my Democratic Party here in the state of Washington said they were set with a couple union sisters uh, laughing at Mr. Fonso. Because Mr. Fonso wants these minimum federal standards that Senator Sanders says we need for the injured workers of America. Yuck it up, motherfuckers. The truth is coming down. It's going to come raining down from the top on your asses. You're going to wish you should have fucking listened to the one injured worker who stepped up and said, hey, we're hurt here. Help us, please. Have a great day, Steve. And, and you know, hey, Steve, don't slip or fall or anything out there on that job or, or have some other your, – your car and your tire go out while you're – traveling from the job or something from the other job because that happens you know and uh, you can also be hurt steve grumbine while working sir you're not immune from an on-the-job injury and if you think you are or if you think your medicare for all will just solve the fucking fucking problem sir you're wrong you're dead wrong and you tell that to the to the to, and you tell We've got suicides going on across this nation, and I've been begging for your help, Steve Grumbine, to stop those suicides related to work comp. And we can relate 25% of the opioid-related deaths to back to work comp. So I'm sorry, sir. This is an issue that needs to be talked about, and when you belittle it, you poo-poo, and you shun those injured workers who don't are allergens as you all and don't have the degrees you guys all got, that, that, that you add insult to injury. Steve Grumbine, and you political journalists on the left like Tom Hartman, who says, I'm clueless, and hang up and, and doesn't even want to continue to try and discuss the conversation of how Tyler Vega and our revolution aren't representing the injured workers of America. Yeah, no, we need to talk, Steve-O. Have a good one. And we, Oh, that's one more thing. It wasn't just Steve that interviewed Strider. Amy, uh, uh, his uh, – They've, they've, they've interviewed, interviewed several candidates, but one of them, when I first was trying to get a hold of Steve Grumbine and get him to help the injured workers and get our voice heard and amplified, Steve-O, is when Amy Vogelia, a candidate out of Nevada, was running for uh, uh, U.S. Congress in her state of Nevada, a, no, a state in which we had one workers' comp uh, adjuster was shot by one of the work comp um, um, victims, I'm going to call it. Uh, and so... Not that that's justified. I can try and stop that. But anyways, I tried to get Amy Vilia's help as she was running and had that voice box, and the whole world was listening to Amy Vigilia because her daughter was killed or, or um, was a victim of, of, of harm in her medical care, and so she was fighting for Medicare for all, of course. Uh, but yet she didn't want to put the, the minimum federal standards for injured workers on the table with her Medicare for all like none of you do. And I'm sorry when Amy V can go around and have a voice box and, 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 and have her have the world listening to her, but she can't stand up and, and say anything about a war being waged upon injured workers. There is something wrong with every one of you. And when I called her out on that, and Steve Grumbine can't come up and say, "Yeah, Amy V, why well, why aren't you talking about these minimum federal standards? MFS, Steve-O, for short. I know you love you love your little acronyms. It's called MFS, Minimum Federal Standards for Injured Workers, Steve-O. Get it down, MFS." So if you can't fight for MFS, but you can fight for these other things like a, a minimum federal jobs guarantee, MFG, you can fight for that. You know, you got all your little acronyms, but let's add that minimum federal standards for injured workers, Steve-O. Have a good day.